What's up you guys, it's your girl Lovely Lee here and I am back with another video. You see the thumbnail and the title. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys another tutorial. This was like highly requested because I posted like a time lapse of a job that I did the other day of some spiral arches and columns that I made. And then in the comments, people were asking for a slow down step-by-step -step tutorial. So here we are, y'all know I love to give the people what they want. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make spiral columns oh you guys noticed that I got a new necklace and earrings yes I want to take this moment to shout out the sponsor for today's video Ana Luisa if you guys have been watching my videos for a while you know that I always have some type of necklace on or rings on my fingers but I can't always wear rings because you know we deal with balloons and they will pop the balloons but for the most part I always have some type of necklace on so I am super happy to be partnering with Ana Luisa for today's video they sent me a couple pieces and I'm going to show you guys how they look I got all gold because I think gold just looks so good on me They're packaging and products are all carbon neutral so that's a plus you know sustainability and we're all about that Ana Luisa provides quality jewelry pieces for affordable prices and if you guys would like to check them out I'll leave the link to their website in my description box below so go and check them out I'm going to try to put a screen recording of their website so you guys can see the prices of their jewelry and these are all high quality jewelry you guys on the website you will see that they have a bunch of pieces that you can choose from from solid gold to diamonds to layered pieces I just love that about it if you guys would like an extra 20% off I have a code it's lovely 20 you can also find the code in the description box below right now I'm wearing the necklace and I'm also wearing the earring and it makes me feel so like elegant and stylish I really love that it makes me feel like very classy right now so go ahead and check out their website thank you again Ana Luisa for sponsoring this portion of today's video but without further ado let's just get straight into this tutorial all right, you guys, so as I said earlier, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a basic spiral column. I'm going to be using this lamp pole that I have right here. I got this from Target a couple years ago, but they do have like the same style in Ikea. It's around $11. They used to have these for $7.99 at Target, Walmart, or even Amazon, but I don't see them anymore. I haven't seen them in a couple years. But as I said, Ikea do have some for $11 and they're like the same length so you can go ahead and use those there are cheaper alternatives to making your own so this is how the pole looks it originally comes black but i spray painted it white because i needed it white for an event that i was doing a couple months ago i think it comes with another pole but i took it off because i don't need it that tall i just need it like at this length like i think this is perfect it's a little under six feet tall so i'm going to be using that and i'm going to be using three colors for today's video. I have Qualitex Caribbean Blue, I have Qualitex Rose Pink, but they just call it Rose, and I have Sempertex Matte Lilac, the Pasta Matte Lilac. So those are the three colors that I'm going to be using. All of those colors I have in 11 inches. And for the topper, I'm going to be using the Rose from Qualitex in three feet also known as 36 inches. So that will be my topper and I'm gonna show you guys how to do that later on. All the other materials I'm going to be using for today's video, I have a wooden balloon sizer right here that is sized to about eight inches. So that is the size balloons that I'm going to be using. I also have my electric balloon pump right here which is from Amazon and I think it's just the same exact thing as the pink pump but just a different brand and a different color. I'm also going to be using 260Q balloons to attach the topper but I can show you guys that later on. But for now, let me show you guys how I inflate all of the balloons. I'm going to be inflating my balloons two at a time using my electric pump and then sizing them at the same time. So I'm gonna put that at the front so it's at arm's reach. So when you're making columns, it's easier to inflate your balloons two at a time. So because matte lilac will be my dominant color, I'm going to be inflating one matte lilac with, I'm going to be inflating one matte lilac with one of the other colors for each of my pairs. And I'm gonna be sizing it using my wooden sizer right here. 
So I'm just releasing some air while trying to pull it through the dowels right here. Okay, so this is my eight inch balloon and I'm gonna repeat the same step for this one. Okay, so both of my balloons are sized and I'm going to go ahead and tie them. So here's a tip, if you're doing columns for outdoors, you do want your balloons to be a little bit soft. You don't want them too stiff. So I will inflate them all the way and then start to release some air. That way your balloons aren't as stiff and the sun won't pop them. So you can release some air before you size it. Like release, like, like deflate the balloon down a little bit to where you think it's the size and then you measure it through your balloon sizer. So this is the exact size. How did I do that? <laughs> and this is also the exact size. So maybe because I used to eyeball them all the time and I just started using a balloon sizer, but for the most part, I've always eyeballed these. I've never really used balloon sizers like when I first started. But if you can get a balloon sizer, it really helps because it'll ensure that all of the balloons on your columns are the same exact size and that's what you want. If your balloons aren't the same size, then it won't look too even. It will look like weird. It looks so much better when all of the balloons on your columns are the same size. I'm gonna go ahead and speed up this part of the video so that I can show you guys how to create the quads. All right, you guys, so I have all of my pairs inflated. I will let you guys know the amount that I inflated or I used for the overall column. I'll just leave it right here or I'll just let you guys know at the end of this video. So matte lilac is my dominant color. So that is why it's attached to each of the other colors. And to make a quad, you'll just be wrapping both of these together. Wrap it, wrap it tightly to make sure that it's secure. So I will say around three or four times. And then this is your quad. And this is how it'll look on the pole to make it spiral. And I'm going to show you guys like my little tricks on how to, you know, save time when you're making spiral columns. So you're not like confused all the time. So this is how I'm making my quads. And you can either make your quads before you start layering them on the pole, or you can just pick up two pairs at a time and just wrap them around on the pole. I just wanted to show you guys this method just in case it'll be easier for someone else, okay? I have the quad that I made right here and I'm going to be showing you guys how to wrap it around the column. So I want to make it spiral so you can either have both of the color, both of the same colors up here and then two different colors down here, whichever way is better for you. The goal is to separate these two colors. So when you wrap it around the pole, these colors should be separating and that will create the spiral. So I'm gonna take one of the purple lilac and one of the pink, put it around the pole like that and then overlap it and then push down the middle just like that and now both of the purple lilacs are separated and these are also separated so if you continue that same step then you'll get your spiral going all the way up so i'm just inserting that around i'm just putting that around the pole and then i'm going to wrap it and you can wrap it more than once, but I always do this once. 
and it always stays. And make sure that you're always pushing down on the middle. When you push down on the middle, it ensures that you don't have any gaps in your columns. So this is how it's looking right now. You see that the spiral, you see that the spiral is starting to form. Okay. So as I said, push down to avoid these type of gaps. You don't want those. And you also will get gaps on your columns if your balloons aren't the same size. So that is another reason why you should make sure that your balloons are the same exact size throughout the whole column. Always make sure that your balloons are lined up before you push down in the middle because pushing down in the middle is basically securing it in the spot that it's in. So just always make sure that your balloons are lined up and going in the proper direction before you start pushing down in the middle. So I have my other quad. And it's easier if the twin colors are on the same side because when you're wrapping it on here, you don't have to worry about wrapping it more than once. Also because you're creating a spiral design, your pattern will start to move. So it's okay if you just pick up your pole and just twist it. Just to ensure that you're not walking around the whole pole while you're creating. You just wanna stay in one spot, just lift up your um, pole and move it. Okay, you guys, so we're already at the top, almost done. So I'm going to show you guys one more time how I create the quad. So I have both of my piers right here, and all I'm doing is just twisting them together. So just over, so, so both of the piers, so in the middle of the piers look like this, and I'm just going to be wrapping the middle of each pair together. So one, two, three. And you can wrap them like three or four times or even one time if you want. For me, when I'm making columns, I usually just wrap them like once or twice. <laughs> but for extra security, you can wrap them three or four times. And make sure that when you wrap them and you're about to layer it on your column, if you're using three colors, my advice is to make sure that the same two colors are like on one side and then the other two colors are on another side because when you twist them, one of the, one of the twin colors will end up in the middle and that is exactly what you want. So it's easier if you put it onto the column or the pole like this. Like put the pole in between those and then twist it to create the spiral design. So put in the pole between the lilac on my left and the pink on my right. Just slide in the pole right in between like that and then wrap in. And then you can just twist the whole quad to make sure that the balloons are lined up. And then you push down in the middle to secure and also 
to get rid of the gap in between each quad. So you see that there are no um, gaps in between those. So to avoid that, you have to always make sure that you push down the middle. So I have one more quad left to put on the top. And depending on the type of pole that you're using, you're going to have to like put a balloon over the pole just to make sure that the sharp edges on the metal don't pop your balloons. So I think most of the poles that we use for columns, they always have a sharp edge on top. My advice is just take an inflated balloon and just slide it over the pole. And this will, and this will prevent your balloon from popping. So that is how it looks when I put the balloon on there. This way, you don't have to worry about the metal popping your balloon. So there you have it, you guys. And now I'm going to add the jumbo topper. Most people always have a topper. You can use a mylar, like a character mylar or a jumbo balloon with writing on it or just a plain jumbo balloon. This all depends on the type of event that you're doing. For today, I'm just going to be using a jumbo Qualitex Rose Pink. And this is in 36 inches or three feet, whichever way you wanna call it. But these are 36 inch balloons and I'm going to inflate it like super big. I don't think I'm going to be inflating it to three feet, but I'm going to be inflating it like big i'm going to be inflating it bigger than the circumference of the column so i usually just eyeball it i don't use like a balloon size or anything for this one whoa all right you guys so here is the topper i think this size is perfect for this column so i'm gonna go ahead and tie the neck and here's also another trick. Before you tie your jumbo balloon completely, if you're planning to add 260s to it, then I would say put it in like that before you finish tying it. And that way your 260 will be on the jumbo balloon like that. And I'm going to be tying this around the two top quads. Let me see if I could bring you guys up a little more. So I have my 260s like this. I'm placing the jumbo in the middle first. You can make sure that it's centered before you go ahead and tie it, or you can just tie it and then center it later. But I have one end of the 260 over here, and I have another end of the 260 on this side. And basically what I'm going to be, do, to be doing is pulling down to make sure that the jumbo balloon, the neck of the jumbo balloon is not showing. And then I'm going to wrap the 260 around the balloons on both sides. So I wrap that one side and then I'm wrapping this side. I'm just wrapping it around the, the, the two top quads, like balloons in the two top quads. And then I'm finding the end of the two 60s and tying them together. And then it's secured. Just making sure that everything is centered and it looks good. All right, you guys, so this is how the column turned out. I think the colors are so cute and everything turned out so perfect. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, please let me know that in the comment section down below. If you think the tutorial was helpful, if you think my instructions were clear enough, let me know as well in the comment section below. If you guys aren't subscribed to my channel, go ahead, hit that subscribe button so you can join the fam. Like, I, I don't even know why you aren't subscribed right now. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'm gonna give you one second. 
thank you. Also leave me a like on this video if you think this tutorial was helpful. I want to say a big thank you to Ana Luisa for sponsoring today's video. If you guys would like to check out some high quality jewelry pieces for an affordable price, go ahead and check out their website. The direct link to the website will be in the description box down below. And if you guys would like to save some more money at checkout, use my promo code LOVELY20 to get some money off of your pieces. Thank you again, Ana Luisa. Make sure that you guys stay tuned to the end of this video to see the full montage and pictures of how the column turned out. Anyways, thank y'all again for tuning in to today's video. I'll definitely catch y'all in my next video. Bye!